for joining us. Uh, we're going to start with Jeff Metcalf and then Alex Simon. Hey, how are you doing? How are you? Good. So um, how, how, I guess this is just a really easy game to get up for, right? I mean, when you have two teams that are playing this way, you know, and, and the, import, the importance of it um, as you get toward the playoffs. Yeah, um, definitely an easy game. Um, obviously, we're excited. Uh, you know, they're currently on a win streak, and so are we. And personally, I think we're the hottest two teams um, in the league right now, coming off the Olympic break. So it's going to be a fun game. Um, we're going to be challenged, uh, and we're just all excited for it. What What's your kind of observations about what the keys are to, to getting a win tonight? Um, obviously, we got to stop JJ. She's playing phenomenal right now, so it's going to uh, be a big task for Breezy to you know try to eliminate limit limit her as much as possible. Um, they're very aggressive on defense. They long, they get in passing lanes. We definitely have to make sure we take care of the ball. Um, they rebound, they crash the glass, um, and you know they do a good job of their second chance points. So we have to just limit their fast break points, uh, control who we control, and just uh, play our game. That's one thing Sandy said yesterday is that you guys can't afford a slow start because they're the kind of team that can jump you right away. Uh, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, a few games we've had slower first half starts and then we pick it up, you know, in third and fourth quarter. But this is a team that we can't rely on second half. We really have to stay with them throughout the whole game um, and just have energy from the start of the game to the end of the game. Yeah. yeah. And um, things went well for you in the last game, obviously, um, and you, you're going to start again tonight. So how do you just feel about that role and, and having Brittany back for this game? Um, honestly, it's amazing to have Brittany back. It's her, you know, her presence alone, like I said uh, before, it's a, it's a bonus for us. You know, she just draws so much attention um, to where defense have to collapse on her and the freeze of us on the perimeter or the uh, drop down to the post player. Um, but I, I feel good. Um, just another game. I'm trying not to get too high, too low, um, and just hopefully that I can be impactful in this game as well. Great, thanks. I will go to Alex Simon next. Hi, Shay. I hope all is well and that you enjoyed what Jeff's newspaper did with their headline there a couple of days ago, because that one made me laugh, too. Um, with what Connecticut can do defensively, and obviously a lot of people focus on what they can do inside and especially with their bigs and how tall they are. But it seems like January is playing at, you know, as good, if not better than she's ever played defensively. What challenges does she present for you on your offense with her defense? Um, she's just an aggressive player, you know, she's up in your space, uh, she's pressuring, you know, the whole time you have the ball, so I think for us, we just have to just keep her moving, try to get her some ball screens, um, and look to attack, you know, we can't just be lots of physical with our passes, because um, they're going to they're gonna jump out and they have long arms, so they're going to get tips, uh, so we just have to just try to get her moving, um, keep attacking everybody, and hopefully just get them in foul trouble early. When they're as good as they are defensively and you guys are playing as well as you guys are defensively, does that, as a player, you obviously always want to score no matter what, but does it kind of change what you think the final score may be coming in saying, it, you know, it might, we might need to win a 65 to something game or something like that when you know how good the two defenses are? Um, yes, I, I, um, I'm not really expecting a high scoring game. You know, obviously both, both teams can score really well, but I think this, the winner, of this game will come down to who can play the best defense, um, get stops, um, get turnovers, and easy transition baskets. And obviously, you guys have had quite a bit of time now to practice playing without Diana, both from the first half of the year and now into here. Has has there been a shift, you think, in the confidence of the players between where you guys maybe felt in that first half of the season compared to where, obviously, last game, but even coming into tonight, you feel like the team is at that way? Absolutely. I think. Um, the way that we were playing since the Olympic break shows that um, everybody one through 10, 11, um, just has an extra boost of confidence. Um, and even with Diana out, I feel like the way we're playing now, she can take the time she needs to get better and not feel rushed to get back. Um, we're all trying to step up offensively and defensively and um, j just do our part. You know, the big three, they, they are who they are. They're gonna um, get theirs and draw a lot of attention. But if we can, 
help help them out in some way with the scoring or defensive aggressiveness. Um, I think that that just a benefit benefit to our team. Great, thanks, Shay. All right, I think we're all done with questions here. Um, I have something to get off my chest. I just need a second to vent. So I've been seeing a lot of like, you know, war lists um, going around and I just think it's crazy how I feel like nobody on the Mercury is on either one of those lists. Let's start with MVP. DG is balling. She's been balling all season. Her numbers before and after the break are at the top. So I don't understand how she's not top two candidate right now for this award. And you can honestly throw Sky in there too. Like she's been balling. Um, she's a certified bucket. She's hard to stop and she's doing her thing like defensive and she's sticking the best guard on the team day in, day out, trying to make it as, you know, tough as possible. So I think she deserves to be on a defensive team as well. And last but not least, like this is getting out of control. Defensive player of the year is breezy, hands down. Like nobody is doing what she's doing out there. Like there's no, no, no shade or knock to any of the other candidates, but come on. What post player is defending and stopping their man, but able to get out and stop a guard? What guard is defending their man, but can go down low and bang with the post and get a stop? Nobody. Like, like what are we talking about right now? Defensive player of the year, is Brianna Breezy Turner. That's it. End of discussion. And I stand by that. Y'all have a good day. All right. Thanks for the time, Shay. All right. That'll be it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Or sorry, 